Hi, I'm Chef Nathan Davis, head chef and owner of The Polish Chef. And today we're gonna to make my world famous Coca-Cola dark chocolate chip brownies. So we're gonna add one stick of butter into the pot. We're gonna add a fourth a cup of Coca-Cola. And then we're gonna add one cup of chocolate chips. We'll put that in a small sauce pot and then we'll slowly melt the chocolate, the butter and the Coke all together. All right, once our butter and chocolate melts, just right when it melts, we wanna go ahead and remove it for heat. That way it doesn't separate. While the chocolate mix is cooling, we'll start adding our ingredients, whisking those together. So we're gonna start off with four eggs, one cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and we're gonna whisk this together. For about two minutes, just whisking nonstop. All right, now that we got our sugars and eggs cream, we're gonna add in three fourths a cup of flour and a fourth a cup of cocoa powder. We're gonna stir that in with the whisk. And this is where it'll start to get kind of thick. Now that we got our flour and cocoa powder added, we're gonna slowly pour in and whisk in the chocolate mixture. We want to use a spatula to make sure we get all of the chocolate out. This is our nice, it's kind of a medium thickness. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. This will be the consistency that you're looking for. Just nice and ribbon off of our spatula. Okay, now that we're done, we're just gonna put the parchment paper on top of our pan, lightly spray it. You don't have to put too much. And push our paper down a little bit. Just let it slowly fall in the center. Push it down in the corners. Got the brownie mix in the pan. We can just add some chocolate chips, sprinkle them out on top right before we go in the oven at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes. All right, it's been exactly 35 minutes. We're gonna check on our brownies. Use a little cake tester, you can use a butter knife, whatever, we can go right in. Look, nothing stuck, so we know they're perfectly cooked. Just let those cool for about 20 minutes and serve. Enjoy. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me about it down in the bottom.